Engineer 775 wanted to talk to you about the importance of not letting your panels get shaded. I should have shot this video when I first got here. This pine tree has is bent over uh, from an ice storm and the branches were covering just the upper right hand corner of the panel. And you might not think that that does a lot. Um, you need to make sure that you make sure your panels are, are not shaded at all. So we're gonna do a simple test here just to show you what happens with a solar panel if you think shading is not an issue because you're, if your panels are shaded at all and then when you connect this panel to a group of other panels for an array and you still shade part of that you you greatly reduce the power you're going to get from this array so what I'm going to do is right now test and this uh, the flow of power is a function of whether or not I'm using the power too so that charge controller is going to have to work with me on this yeah, we're gonna have to run that pump because right now she's not charging and so the batteries are full, so I'm not flowing power. So I'm gonna have to get the pump running and, and be back and show you the difference. Okay, a little shading testing here. We're in full sun. Our solar panel, I don't know if you can read that. It says uh, 8.3 amps, 8.2 amps. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna introduce um, some shading on just the one cell. Oh, the charge controller kicked it off. All right, we're back up to 8.4. All right, let's do the shading test quick while the pump's running. So maximum power is flowing from our panel. We're just gonna shade one of the cells. Look what happens. We've dropped down, and we've dropped down to one point. Are you shading one cell? Yep. Make sure you fully shade one cell. Okay, we're down into 1.8 amps. Okay, so that, so we can kind of see we're just shading a little bit of the solar panel. So the importance of shading, why does it do that? Why does it drop so drastically? It's because all of the cells are tied in series on the back. It's easier to see the back of the panel, see all the squares. They're all connected in series. So when you block just one cell, the current is short-circuited to the current of what that one cell is producing. Um, <laughs> so what will flow through that one cell. So it, and even though you're shaded, you can still get some ambient light. So there is some power and that's the importance of, of not shading. So um, I think we're shading now. Let's back off of the shading. I hope you can see the meter. So we're back up to 8.2, 8 amps, good flow. And then shade again, just the one little square. You shading the one? Yep. All right, we're dropping down to 2.7. A little bit more, make sure you get that full cell covered. Okay, pull away and we jump back up. So that's just one thing. So imagine, this is just one one of my little water systems. And when we got here, um, this tree from an ice storm was leaning and there was just one branch that was shading the upper cell of this panel. So the batteries weren't being charged. So you gotta watch that. So you'd think, oh, I'm getting a ton of power, but just putting, just, just putting your hand in there knocks it down because it's, short, it's basically short circuiting the whole panel. And so, so a simple shading test. So things like chimneys and on your roof, you might have a bunch of panels. So um, sometimes you can, if you want to get fancy, you can isolate the arrays with diodes. And um, so that shading of one panel doesn't take down the whole array that you have if you have them in strings of three or four and uh, or even two. So anyway, just wanted to share the importance of making sure you minimize the shading on your solar panels. You might not think it does anything, but you short circuit that one cell and you're pretty much not making the power you need to charge your batteries. Okay, this is Engineer 775 with a, another prepper tip.